So this is the best kept secret to marketing online with Mark Lack. What is up underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything and we are getting started right now. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Babcock. Remember, nobody's going on social media because they actually want to buy anything. Nobody ever says, hey, Zach, what's up, bro? I'm going on Facebook. Did you want me to get you anything? It's <laughs> right. Every time, right? It's funny. No one ever says that because it's funny, but yet all these businesses and marketers are like, if you're not selling on social media, your business won't be relevant in the next couple years. And it's like, look, that's a bunch of bullshit. You do not need to be selling on social media for your business to be relevant, but you do need to be on social media adding value. And so if your product or your service adds value, don't go on social media and sell that shit to people that aren't on there to buy anything. Now, it could work. There's a lot of people that are so good at selling on social media, but there's also a lot of good people that are car salesmen, right? <laughs> like, like, But if the car salesman walked into a fucking restaurant that I was eating at and tried to sell me, I'd be like, bro, I'm eating. This is the wrong spot. And so he might sell me, though. If he was really good, he might, I might be like, the Lambo's in the parking lot? I can walk out of the restaurant and go try it? Okay, maybe. So if he was really good, even though I'm at a restaurant, he might get me to buy. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not in a restaurant to buy a car. I'm not on social media to buy whatever the fuck you're offering. <laughs> and so the point is, don't sell on social media until you have built an audience of people that know, like, and trust you, because people love to buy. They hate to be sold. And so if you can build up an audience where you've added value to them, you've delivered, basically credibility that you have the product and the service, the business, the customer service, whatever it is they're looking for, you have it, but you've only demonstrated it to them after adding a sequence of value of content that now they're like, wow, you've actually established yourself as the go-to person or business. I don't want to work with anybody else. Even if you're a small mom and pop shop, you've demonstrated to me that you can really help solve my problem. You've demonstrated to me value up front before asking for my credit card. And I just see a lot of people playing the game ass backwards. They're going on social media and they're like, look, when you attend my webinar, I'm going to give you value. Well, why don't you just give me value now? Why do I have to attend your webinar? Just give me a, give me a little bit of value first. I'm happy to attend your webinar, but if it's like everybody else's, you're going to drag me through a bunch of bullshit. And then at the end, oh, well, hey, I, I didn't hopefully I added value to you, but look, the real value is when you buy my product. And it's like, okay, do we, do we all know, do we all know this? This is how the game works. You only give me value after I give you money. And so the competitive advantage with personal branding and why we like personal branding is because people don't go on social media to engage with business brands. They go on social media to engage with people. And so if you as a person can incept the audience as a personal brand, not a business brand, a personal brand attached to a charity or a business, then after your personal brand has added value and demonstrated value, you start to build up an audience of people that's like, oh, Gary V, oh, Grant Cardone. Oh, he has a product and a service. Okay, I'll buy it because this guy's the shit. This right. guy's dim this guy every day is on there showing me value, showing me showing me what he does, showing me case studies, showing me how he helps people, showing me his life, showing me he's a real person, showing me the ups and the downs, showing me value. I'm ready to buy his stuff over this guy who's like, attend my webinar. And that's all I ever see is attend my webinar, but I never see just value. Like I'll take your webinar and your product and your service you sell on your webinar. And I'll break it into a bunch of pieces and give it away for free. In fact, I won't just pay money to run ads. I'll pay money to put my free, which is stuff people pay for, I'll pay money to put my shit in front of you. And that's the shift that a lot of people don't get. That personal branding, I have to spend money just to put my stuff in front of you that I would charge you for later. And so that's the crazy part is then people say, your free stuff's more valuable than stuff I've paid for. And that's because the free stuff is the stuff people pay for. I'm just giving it to you in small bite sizes. Like when you go to Costco, if you know what Costco is, huge place, they sell everything in quantity and bulk. And if you go to Costco, somebody goes, hey, would you like to try this drink? Hey, would you like to try this food? It's a little tiny sample of the thing that you're going to pay for, but if you like the sample, then you're gonna be like, that was some good shit. <laughs> and then maybe you're gonna buy. And so Costco is the perfect example of a personal brand. Give them a little sample of the value of what is the product. And eventually, if they like the sample, they're gonna buy. And it's not sample it on the webinar and give me your email. Let me give you a little sample of every single thing that we offer, 
and I'll do it forever. So as long as you want to keep coming in for samples, that's fine. Eventually you're going to buy. And so that's the mindset shift is I will pay money not for you to buy my shit. I'll pay money to give you my shit. Mm-hmm. But I'll do it in such small bite sizes that eventually you're going to want the whole thing. I mean, there you have it. That was pretty freaking incredible. Now I'm going to give you some practical steps that you can walk away with and do right now. Facebook, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, uh, two of the best places to be when you're marketing, uh, make posts that's going to specifically help your target market, your target audience, your ideal client, customer, whoever, the person that you want to serve, uh, make posts that's going to help them solve problems, like solve their problems for free. Give it away completely free. When you do that, you build that no like and trust factor. People become raving fans of yours and then they want to buy. People don't like to be sold, but they love to buy. And they're going to start checking you out when you're constantly giving all this stuff away. They're going to start checking you out like, oh wow, you know, he's got that program. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Dude, it works perfectly. Another thing that you could do if you don't, you know, uh, if you want to go another route about it or just add, you know, a different angle to it is to join groups on Facebook that have your target audience inside of them. Like if you provide services to, you know, coaches, you know, like myself and stuff, and you have like marketing services, you know, that help coaches uh, get clients faster, whatever. It could be whatever, right? Just join a group that has your target audience in there. And when you're in there, be active in the group. Don't try and sell anything. Don't put out anything trying to sell your products. That's the worst thing to do. What you want to do is you want to go in there and interact with other people's content, especially when people are in there and they have a problem and they're specifically asking, hey, how do you do this? Get on there and tell them exactly how they solve that problem. And you know what's going to happen? That person is going to be like, dude, that guy is fucking awesome. I'm going to be friends with him. You know, and then he's going to start checking you out, all the different things that you have to offer. You know, if you do that consistently, Consistently and just given value, you're going to build those relationships. You're going to build that know, like, and trust factor, and people are going to buy from you because you're going to establish yourself as a cool motherfucker and an expert. And that's how you do it. That's how you build that business. That's how you do it online, just like Mark was talking about. If you want my 33 branding and positioning tactics, they're in the description below. These things are fire. This is exactly how you know I do the things I can just talk to you about how I brand and position myself online. It's in the description below. Uh, if you ha- if you want to check out the full interview with Mark Lack that I had. It's on underdogempowerment.com or you can get it on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher, whichever one you prefer. All those links are in the description as well. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you're receiving value from this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And if you want to check out some more cool videos, to make sure you check out wherever it is right there right there there's a playlist for specifically for you underdog entrepreneurs peace a holla see you on the next video we put them hours in to bring them dollars in it is that underdog empowerment we put them hours in to bring them dollars in my name is zachary Bell.